bit of a quick afternoon nookie amongst uh, some swingers. Didn't look as dramatic on camera, folks, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah, that's wide, isn't it? Getting there. It's like Jurassic Park. Dustin, it sounds like it. That's where we're going. It's right under where the cars go. Go off quite a so way. Camera's over. Mm. I don't know about Stuart Price, but he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I missed with everyone else because no one yeah. else knows who you're talking about. No. Right, camera? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, cable size. Yeah. Do, 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 Sony do, action do, do, cam. Do, 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 this is that's all done, folks. Do, 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 do. So this is secrets. We're giving away all the secrets. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Blur, blur this out, folks. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, we need the other light set, wouldn't we? The uh, I've got big torch. torch. Oh, I've got one in here. I should I should have got my um, clambering yeah. around coat. Do you want to come in? I'm going to come in, yeah. Yeah, you're going to come in? Cool. So you can be our, if we don't come out in two hours, look, you can yeah. bring a police. You'll say we don't care. Mm. I don't know why, but part of me wants to go in there head first. Yeah, I was thinking head first. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's telling me to do it like Ian's doing it. Yeah, don't do it, that's a backbreaker. What? The way you did how it? how I did it. Right then, boy. Cheers. Got a camera with it. Do you want to pass the bag? Can you see how far it goes back? Yeah, sure it goes somewhere. It before. goes somewhere, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it does go somewhere. All, all climb in. Right, you got does. my torch, Chris? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Pretty low. Cruise. Just getting flashbacks of Moat Park. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Wow, that's something really bright coming in here. Yeah. Look at the ceiling. I see what you mean by a grotto, yeah. Magical grotto, folks. Like Santa, Santa's secret stash. There's the lads down there. Yeah. And it's like hidden underneath the road, so you drive over it, which is really bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. 
put a main road over it. Wow. Oh, it goes back. Hello. Oh, no. Whoa, look, look at, at this. That's a bit bizarre, yeah. You can hear the cars right by us. Yeah. There is. Hmm. So. Wow, it's big, isn't it? Yeah. It's got these different strata layers, you know, it's like it's like different layers, like, you know, this is different to this, it's very different to this. Seems pretty sound though, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, well, if, it, very live yet, if, it, so if it has been made or... Oh yeah, it goes up a long way. So it keeps going. Got another hole in the ceiling. So that must be on the other side of the road, I would imagine. Oh, the road goes over this? Yeah. The bottom half is more natural, isn't it? So we carved out and then we've also added the roof in. There's a. Uh, that's only does look like it with those blocks. Swastika. Oh, and there's, a, there's another way out up here, but it's locked. That's the main entrance. Yeah. Old uh, padlock on it. Actually, you can just you know bypass that and just get around the other way. So, hmm. Amazing. Wow. Well. Wonder whether these to sort of perform any weird fontil kind of sacrificial ceremonies down here. That's doing that looks a bit like. But it doesn't look like it could have got there naturally. It's it has to have been planted there. Because it wouldn't have fallen out of place. Because there's nothing behind it. Yeah, it's like they've built all this and then backfilled it and all covered it. So the bottom yeah. half looks normal, doesn't it? And the top half looks like it's been man made. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Crazy folks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were turning them. Seems like you've, oh, wow. you've got a natural layer. Not sure about this layer. And then this layer looks possibly fake. You know, this is added in, but I'm not sure about this layer. But this is probably original. Yeah. It's like, you see the, yeah. They obviously just carved a path out, haven't they, down? Hmm. I wonder whether this is like a cemented layer with loads of bits just chucked in and cemented and just stuck. And then this is actually worked on, you know, up here. Oh yeah. Magical. The droids might be down there first. Yeah. No. It's where they suck your soul out. Yeah. Font Hill style. Look, there's a bit of a skull there. So that's done in the same sort of chalk. It looks like oh, it's wow. been done with a either a piece of carbon or done with a candle or something like that. But we've got the swastika over on this yeah, side, yeah. So yeah. Shell, like, I don't know if it's a carved shell or a fossil, but it's often like a shell you would give up. Mm. So it's, uh, it's quite tall. Yeah, it's got to be one of the things that's been covered over. Yeah. But I'd heard about this grotto, but I'd never been in it. Everyone keeps telling me about it, but I didn't know where to find it either. I thought it was down by the boathouse, actually, like you know, right by the boathouse. Well, 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 we probably are not far off, so are we? 
Mm. Now there's something that looks like goes underneath the boathouse, you know, like by the side of the boathouse. But I don't know what that is. It could just be somewhere you take your boat, you know, sort of like along the edge and and then you get into a bit that's, you know, underneath. I thought it might have been something to do with the grotto, but oh well. It's a nice uh, wide uniform light, isn't it? I ordered something second hand. I found uh, it's called a 160, yeah. and it's like by the same company, but it's uh, it's got uh, quite a bright wide sort of beam on it, so. It's 26 quid second hand, so fingers crossed now it's not fucked. <laughs> What's that, there's like flints around a certain part of that? It's like darker rock. Yeah, it seems to sort of change a bit, doesn't it? It just looks like um, moss and green or something. Stuff that's fallen down, it's made a little yeah. pile at the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that! What does it say? God is my... Toy box, isn't it? Toy box box. God is my... Did you see this, Chris? You can see the back wall there, look. You see how they planted the blocks around? Yeah. The original wall? Yeah, yeah. Fossil. Oh wow. It's a big one. Um, and then I'm white. Yep. Yeah, this little one's not bad. It's super cute stuff. Hmm. It says look up there. It wants you to look. You know, they've written look. Yeah, there's a penis. Yeah, there's oh, I see. Just an emergency exit, just in case. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe. Maybe it was quite a fair bit lower in here. Let's turn this off. Film myself coming out. But. Yeah, you. Uh -huh. 
watch till we come out. Or not. Yeah, it's like you have to get yourself a bit more forward first, yeah. Okay, yes, showing us how to do it the right way. Making easy work of it. Cheers. That's it. That's it. <laughs> easy. Getting old, folks. Getting old indeed. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going somewhere else now. Might have lost them. Let's see if we can catch up. That's somewhere down here. sort of grotto. Really clambering up, up on top of it, so... Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, we're getting right up on top of it. The King of Castle. All right. It's like Lord, Lord of the Lord of the Rings. That's what he said a minute ago. Yeah. Well, if this is for fairies, does uh, how quickly you got up there say anything about your own sort of personal standing? In in another life. It's a lot easier going up the stairs than trying to climb up the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of I can stand on that one. It's a bit hard, mate, isn't it? Yeah. With a camera. I mean, I, I could just float up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of, you know. You going up? I've got wings, mate. You're wings. No, no. I, I leave it to the professionals. I think. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the dog. That's my excuse. Yeah, amazing. I'll take a picture of that in front, folks. Who needs Watch the, the shoelace? Who needs the Hobbit House in Gloucester? When you've got this font, ah! 
Font yes. Fontil Grotto. Where are you going? You're going to tie yourself up. You're going to tie yourself up in mess. Come on. Hey. Come on in. Come on. Good girl. What's in there then? What's in there then? It's a bit exciting. A bit exciting. Come on, Em. Come on, Em. Ooh. Say hello. Say hello. But we're here with Angel, the exploring dog, the amazing exploring dog, who is already doing her best to pull me off my feet because we're on mud. I literally cannot pull against her, but uh, up ahead we have the famous exploring team of IKS, which is Ian and Chris. And I'm going to find out what IKS means in a minute. So I'm going to ask them the big question. So we're off to see the Zero Bunker, which we've seen before on my channel, but um, this, these guys have shown an interest in it, so we're taking them to the secret location to see where it is, and uh, they're going to go down. I think they're having a good time today. We're going to go and see a few things around Salisbury area, and possibly caution, so... Where's number one fan today then? I think he's right. Yeah, he only, he only does the local ones. Well, he can't. He sort of can't do weekdays. He can only do some weekends, but then he also works nights sometimes on weekends. It just gets so difficult. Oh right. <laughs> Shell step. Yeah. Right. Thanks. <laughs> God, it's really boggy since the last time I was here. It's got a lot more boggy. Yeah, you've had a bit of rain leak, haven't you? Yeah. What's the bog's name again? Angel. Angel. Ah, it's over here, right. Okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Sorry. I did see some the other day. Yeah. 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 Okay. Actually, uh, one flying around and two roosting. Yeah, you can smell them. Hmm. You can see part of the old counterweight mechanism there. Look at that. I've been sat around here for years now. That's, that's a, a flat boy. What about you? Yeah. yeah what? Well, I thought I was telling you about that this guy put his hands down there, the whole lot gave way. And oh, I had right, to grab yes, hold of him. I was like, well, I've got in that way, I thought we got in originally, but you don't really want to do that. It's not a lot of fun. No. Oof. Yeah, I've come on the way back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't get it all, mate. Not well. You won't be able to get in there. Oh, I don't think so. I'm not looking at little holes like that. It's like... Wait, come on in. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you stick that down there? I might have done. Oh. <laughs> well, Excellent. Joe could get in or out. Oh. Somebody will nick that, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Left here overnight. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. It's pretty rickety. Yeah. That's a good idea. Might, 
Right, shall we better do some filming here then? Right, so it's Ed. Matt. Matt, sorry, Matt. Yeah. I'm not good with names. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shit at the names, yeah. 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 And you're the YouTuber from The Secret Vault. The Secret Vault, yeah. Yes. So we're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of, where are we? Hare Warren. Hare Warren. So we got Matthew from the Secret Vault YouTube channel there folks, there he is. <laughs> uh, his, his link will be below in the description to check that out. Uh, Chris, obviously, and we got Toby, who's uh, shown us around some bits as well. So uh, this is a sub uh, auxiliary unit, and this is like for the resistance fighters. So there's a few of these around the country, and uh, yeah, we'll check it out. Oh, is it? oh shit, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was going to be an up the opening no, job. I think it was originally. This is a lot of effort to go on to cut this end off when wow. surely it would have just... Well, I think that when that hole fell in, yeah. they've come and put that big grate over it to stop people from falling in. I think they've come and fell off to let people in here so that they didn't try and get in the big hole. Because you can't move that big grate, it's just bloody heavy. I'm going to let you guys go in there because I can't take the dog down with me, so, uh, you know, you can have the fun. Have you filmed that here before? Oh yes, I've, I've done this, yeah. Yeah. Can you take that? That's alright. Who's up here? Do you need anything out of it? No, you're staying up here, aren't you? I'm staying, yeah, I'll look after it. I always wondered how they got this uh, quality footage, but it... You know, you think they're using a GoPro. Nope. It's actually no, a very... GoPros. It's GoPros a GoPro's really rubbish on the ground. <laughs> yeah. They are. The lights, they didn't take enough Yeah, it's very dark. Yeah. The Sony cameras are the best ones. Mm. I mean, this is a Canon. It's okay for small locations, but the Sony's underground and dark locations are absolutely amazing. It's the secret's outlook, folks. Yeah. You, you need to get a Canon and a big light. Yeah. Video light, yeah. Yeah. Right, do you want to film me going down there, Chris? It's not, it's not recording if you push it. All right. It's okay. Oh, I don't know if I just don't know. A lot of Ventilation pipes, Ventilation. Yeah. I think that was actually the toilet. Yeah, it could be a sub toilet or something. You grab that. One decent one. Right, sorry. Blind you with it. Emergency escape. There's no case blind in Thank you. 
So what we're going to do now, folks, is we're going to put the cover back and it's going to get locked up again. So yes, preserved. You leave the ladder? Yeah, I leave the ladder. Makes it easier, doesn't it? Because um, I reckon, well, it just seems weird they've cut those bits off. And then maybe they didn't want that to be on the hinges because if someone went down there and it slammed shut or it dropped on the head or whatever, he says, well, you've got to lift it out to get in there, haven't you? It's true, because I suppose if you haven't got a ladder, it's going to be quite hard getting up anyway with it open. Because I, I, I always assume that when they put that new big grid over it, they probably come and cut this so people can get in there without moving that big grate. Because they locked this, that's what people would do, and that's, as you can see, dangerous as fuck, isn't it? Yeah, yeah somebody's going to nick your ladder, though, I think. Well, that can stay there. That won't last long. Yes. Don't worry about that. Right. So is it... Am I recording? Is it a good time to ask you, what oh. does the IKS stand for? Is that Ian something something? Is that your initials? Yeah, yeah it's my initials, yeah. Yeah, all right. I was right. But we'll have we're mystery on what the rest of it is then. Yeah. <laughs> it's a guessing game. Yeah. Uh, I saw the, the, was it the recent one where you were sort of like going through uh, squeeze tunnels and uh, you sent somebody through and uh, somebody... Somebody didn't want to go through oh, and... Oh yeah, through the little... Yeah. Um, what the... I think oh, a drain, Dover drain somewhere. Pipe. Yeah, drain pipe, that's it. Oh, oh. Yeah. That looked horrible. Extreme. Nothing yeah. Nothing found it when go through. Yeah, that's right. I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, the problem with that is you get in and then you just can't move. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It Arms have like got to be it. forward or back. It can't be on your chest like that. Is that how you test um, your sort of like uh, prospective number one fans? You, you send them down the drain pipe. If they can do the drain pipe, then they can become, you know, they move up the scale of like number three fan to number two he fan. Would, he would have got through that if he tried. He? he says he's done it before, but I don't know. Is he, is he on film now? Yeah. because yeah, of the first video we've done of that, people said, why didn't you just go out the other end? Yeah. But um, it was gated, like with prison fence and stuff like that. So you can't exactly. Second time now, we went over the top, didn't we? Stay there. Apparently you want to open up and put like a, a glass bit here so that you can see the, the original sneak tunnel. So when was this one built then? Nine, eighties? No, um, I think it was converted. It was changed over, like, but it was a really early one, I think. I like, remember. yeah, I think it's like sixties or something. Yeah, sealed yeah. defence, maybe. Yeah, silver defence one. Yeah. And then they used it again later. This, this replaced other bunker that was in Bourne Hill Council offices. Right. And then apparently that one replaced one that was in Fiery Lane. But again, there's there's only a bit of writing about that in Nick McCamley's book. You know, short yeah. bit of writing, and that's it. Right. Um, well, then there's smaller rooms on the outside.
think it's been capped though because it keeps the uh, idiots out of there and uh, keeps them getting trashed and uh, all that stuff. So, yeah, the ventilation tower over here. It is actually open, boys. It is actually open, yeah. So if you wanted to, you could ask nicely and wander down. Keep your camera running and just walk down the old uh, way in. They're, they'll be in there. The lady will be in there. She, you, can ask, you can ask her. It's you worth it. Ask yeah. Because we, we Yeah, they've got a, a license to stay open till nine. But I mean, literally, you, you can play music as loud as you like down there. Nobody's going to hear you. But... Uh, you know, eventually they'll get the extension to sort of take it up to 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock yeah. or something. But so it's quite interesting. If you're interested in taking lessons in the area, that's the place to go. Music lessons, folks. To the bunker. Yeah. Yeah. That's good to see. This is all Harnham Hill here. If you walk along this path, it's just along this path where these guys told me there's this little concrete entrance somewhere they found oh, years yeah. ago. Right. But we've never managed to find it over time we've come up here. The one guy is the guy who said he one of the guys who said he found it is gonna come up with, with me one day and we can have a look. That's the best idea, really. right. he, just, sorry, go on. So he said he was gonna he said, Oh we'll, we'll do it in the summer when it's a bit nice and I said, Yeah, but we serve a green, you won't see anything. It's overgrown now, look. Like. It's gonna get a quick picture of that. Yeah. Got a layout of the bunk for it, but this is where we come in here. Yeah. The main room, yeah. That's the bar. Yeah, that's right. Toilets are still in the same place. Oh, what's we said about them in the corner? It's generating on it. Decontamination. Uh, but this one, you didn't want to give away the location, wasn't it? Because it's such a good, lo you know, yeah, good yeah. little site. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I said, like, I would do exploring with angel videos, you know, like a specialist dog exploring channel. I would do it, but it's such a f***ing pain in the arse. <laughs> she just drives you nuts. It's excited. Yeah, just pulls me all the time when you're trying to film. It's like, you can't swap hands and, oh, God. Okay. Come on, dogs. There's another sign over here. I've never seen plastic down the back like that. Oh, yeah. I've seen a couple of them like that actually. And the hatch yeah. opens a different way. The ladder's usually the cutaway. Yeah, the hatch is a bit more than that. It's easier to get in this one than the other ones. 
I think because of the position on the ladder. They might have just updated it in the 70s or 80s. I think this is an updated one. We'll see that inside. I've never seen the plastic before though. Right? Keep the wall clean. Going down? I'll hold on to her and I'll, I'll do it after they come out. That's really good. Glad to get out of the wind actually. <laughs> we thought it was going to be a nice cube when we got back up. <laughs> yeah. I think she's alright in this area. She can sort of. Uh, yeah, cheers. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Want to shut the, the lid or you be alright? Um, ah, it's alright. Right. Yeah, it's okay. It's, quite, it's nice down there. So cool. Let's have a look. Here we go. Let's get some light on. Can we see anything? There we go. Right, what have we got here then? Oh yeah. It's quite complete. It's got uh, it's got stuff to do with how to report vehicles. Carrier receiver warning district Winchester 22. Signal, warning note followed by a spoken message. High pitch pip tone followed by a spoken message. Fallout warning or attack message. Shielding, 1.8 centimeters. You can hear the wind going upstairs. It's, it's pretty, pretty, ooh, it's horrible. So, uh, yeah. So, um, we've got a fixed survey meter. Fixed survey meter, attack warning, prep to Retract probe, retract probe, bomb power indicator, nuclear burst. Ooh, so, um, yeah, I think uh, these were the, these are some of the, the things they used to send stuff upstairs with. They used to send wires up, and there was a hole. Oh, here it is. There was a hole, and I think they used to either put put things up there or they used to test for blast, you know, because they can actually see the blast on a piece of paper. So, yeah. And, um, crew duties. Here we look. Crew duties. Crew of line communications. Crew duties, number two observer, number three observer. Post supervisors. Group responsibly. Oh, oh, oh. A fire blanket, asbestos fire blanket. It's been stolen. Cloud heights, cloud heights indicator. There's a timer here for 
and that will time the, uh, the lights to come on and off. Um, yeah, there's an old bedstead, but bedstead sort of bed post. Uh, what have we got in the cupboards? Anything? Not much in the cupboards. Well, and what have we got here? This is the toilet. A toilet and a sump. Let's have a look at the sump. And this would have been a pump handle to to fire the waste products up up to the top. So there we are. It's a Royal Observer called Bunker. They pulled the lid off and they, you know, rather than just chucking it out, they packaged it. They've gone, oh, we'll paint it, turn it to stalk. It's like, isn't it? Exactly, really. I think it was down there for a half an hour. Ooh. You alright? Oh, yeah, not too bad. No, it's alright. Thanks. Duncan. Right. We're here at Pepperbox Hill. And Pepper Box Hill may have been a folly created for women to watch a hunt, so I'm told. But uh, it's right to the top of the hill here, and um, well, it's very windy. What more can we say? But well, here we are, we've got uh, Ian and Chris, IKS. Yes. Having a look at some ancient, nicely, nicely scrawled, yes. 18. Something there. Yeah. Pre felted pen. Yeah. I thought they were using the uh, using it as a bat roost, but it's all it's all closed up so there's there's nothing nothing there, no uh, no chance to to use it as a bat roost. But it's having to shelter in the uh, in the lee of it because the wind is just absolutely howling. It's amazing. Must be about 30, 40 mile an hour wind, I reckon. It's blowing us sideways. So, yeah. There we go. Right. So we're looking for an ROC post. So we've got a farmyard, and then a track, and then I can see everybody up ahead, and they're kind of near a, well, a compound of some description, so we'll go and see what, what it looks like now. Well, it looks like we've got everyone interested in something, and looks like some people are climbing down already. So there's something here. A little compound's been enclosed. Bunker, it is. Is this the only way to get in? Just through here? Yeah, do you want to take your camera? That's nah, alright, you should manage. Oh. It's a steady cam, makes me a better climber. It's a daisy. <laughs> doesn't look as awkward. Yeah. Well, I can do stuff like that and it just doesn't show up on the footage. It's like yeah. I've just fallen and it's just like no image problems at all. Yeah. Oh, right. Hello. Hello. All right. Yeah. Wearing the gloves, folks. Oh, look. It's got a more cut on it. Can't wait. See you so, we're already home. So I'll take it, Chris. Cheers. Make sure I don't fall off. Oh, I'm blow my nose, otherwise I'll be dripping uh, things onto... Uh, yeah, you should trip on his head. Ian's well. head. Yeah, 
and it has the amazing sign. Yeah. Wow. Ah, right. Saying it's a good one. Just come. Where's that gone off? Hatches that were built so small. Do you reckon it's so it's harder to fall down? I'm filming, so shh. <laughs> and take. Yeah. <laughs> so, scores, marks out of 10 for it's good, quite good. ROC. 10, it's a 10, I'd say it's a 10, it's good. It's a 10, right, okay. Golden gem. Golden gem indeed. Now let's get in there. So, clamber on down and have a look. I'm trying, I'm trying to be pompsy and actually film myself when I go down, which is like, you know, so be the see. death of me, I'm sure. If you lower the camera down on the rope, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Soaring box and stuff here. Battery box. Yeah. Amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and, um, here we go, and here we are. This is right. I mean, right this is now, do we have any light? light? Yes, we do. And step out. Because the other one, it was this way. Yeah. Oh, this is quite clean. This, isn't it? Thing, this really quite clean, yeah. and it's got yeah. nice. Oh yeah, this is quite nice. Fire blanket, but is it in there? Yes, it is. The fire blanket is actually there. It's amazing. So, it's got a little cupboard. I've not seen one of those before. Wow. You've got um, something that looks like an antenna cable, which I've not seen. So, we've got some sort of cables here. Uh, that's a pipe. And this, I assume, is some sort of antenna cable or mains cable. It's down on the floor, so let's have a look. Oh, it's actually a mains cable, it's got two core in it. So a 2 core 13 amp. Now this is interesting, I've not seen one of those before. Let's just have a little look down. Show you what we're looking at. What's that through the table? It's then fixed on, that's interesting. Hmm, we've got some light switches here. With some small lights and some sort of equipment with a red and green LED. Don't know what that's for. But um, yeah, what else is there? People have left um, a visitor's note, notebook, and they said what it's like. And the notes go back as far as 19. IKS have put one in for, <laughs> yeah, comments. IKS. <laughs> so they haven't commented, but anyway. It says contents list and use of the ROC. And it says first aid hints, and it's telling you about use, use of certain creams and things like that, but yeah, we know, all in all, it looks quite interesting. It's even got a little key hanging up here. I wonder if that's the key for the door. Let's actually try it. I wonder whether it will actually go in. No. So I wonder what that's for then. I wonder if it's for this up here. This little, this little cabinet. I wonder if it's for that. But there is no lock on it, so I wonder. I wonder. I'll leave it up there just to excite the imaginations. But um, I think I can hear tick, 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 which is this little oops light switch thing which has been turned on here. So you can hear that the light switch has been activated. And here's the toilet, and we've actually got some sort of toilet in there, so that's still present. And there's some old, uh, there's some old beer cans and, and rubbish there. And you've got to be careful with these, but does that move? The no, that's that's pretty stiffly stuck. But the sump is actually very dry, so this one's been kept closed in a good state, so not bad. Let's have a little look up. So there we go, back up to the surface. So all in all, I think quite an interesting, interesting ROC bunker. In good, in good condition. Very good condition. So there we go. And the IKS guy is going to be a 10. 10 out of 10. 
So let's go back up. Right. Let me just see if I can. So this is me going up with a camera fixed in the upwards position. The uh, mechanism here for the counterweight. Yeah, yeah. So, so have you ever heard of Fovent badges? It's all army badges on the side of a hill. Oh, that's that's chalk. Uh, and that's what you can see over there. Oops. I have to turn it that well, way to. All the way around here, it's higher than where we are. So it's yeah. an unusual place to have this. Distance, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, it's a well, that hill over there, I suppose it's also access, isn't it? So you've got the uh, counterweight mechanism there and some signs still present. So interesting. Right. So they think this could have been a master post. Yeah, there's a lightning rod there. Yeah. Did you see that, guys? Yeah, I saw that. The lightning rod. You think that would have been attached to that as well? I reckon the aerial was on that. Mm. I'm pretty sure I've seen a picture of an aerial coming up from there. Maybe not this one, but on the other There we are. Oh, hold on. Yeah, there's rabbit holes all over there. Yeah, I think there's rabbits living living in this one. <laughs> but, uh, Neatly stashed away. And if you keep the lids closed, then they have nice dry sumps at the bottom. And this one is very keeps dry. The animals are coming in as well if they jump up. Yeah. The old rabbits. Children. Twisted brown willow. Amazing. Amazing, folks. He says falling over. Amazing, folks. Right, we're on uh, on the trail of another ROC bunker. This time we're in Tisbury, and we're just up on top of a hill. So you've got the Tisbury rail station is down there, and the church. And uh, so I suppose we might be on the west west side of the the village. And we're just going up here past a, a hedge line and into this next field. So let's see what we got. There's a lock on it. So you need to speak to Ed and find out who owns this one. Then. Let's find out where it is, really. So massive holes in the fence now. Just walk straight in. I thought it'd be getting worse, but it uh, seems like it's getting easier. We'll have some of that, no problem. It's used to be an engine shed. You see the rails used to go in there, but they do work on uh, various and sundry engines. Yeah. What'd you see, Chris? The railway line. Yeah, it used to be a wood company that held this yard. Got more rails going in there, in that bit. See it. Uh, quite a tall building. This was still got a bit of light. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they still got the old. Uh, uh, fire 
half a half a fire engine in here. Half a fire engine? Was there one in before? Yeah. They, oh, they've been knocking this. They've been break, breaking this end bit up. That that's new. Big and long. Hmm. It's going to be coming down, I think. Oh, I do. Unfortunately. Yeah. Is that not that before, isn't that? No, no, that's new. They've been they've been attempting to see how hard it is to dig it dig it out, and they've taken the old fire. No, no, they haven't. The fire engine's still there, halfway down. So if we if we swap over onto the other side, you'll have something to see. Can't see nothing at the moment. Yeah. It's usually hard to spot, but halfway down. Oof. They used to keep cows in here. They would keep them in this section here, and uh, so they'd use it as a shed. Yep, they'd load off here, and then they'd load onto the smaller gauge railway, which would go all the way up the valley to the top, and then would go into one of the two or three mines there, you know? So they had above ground on top, which is now called EHD Font Hill Depot, and they store stuff in there to this day. They they just hire it out for people who want to store stuff. And the bit underground, um, they they blocked off the one, and uh, the one to the north, which was never really much of a storage area anyway. Um, it's more of a quarry. Um, that's still accessible. So. Fire engine. So we've got the old yard, which has actually been cleaned up quite a bit now. They've taken a lot of stuff away. They've taken a lot of the greenery here and they've cleared all this area. Oops, sorry. They've cleared all this area out and you've got access to these buildings for the very first time. So I've not been in here. But um, yeah, because they've taken away the brambles, here we are for the very first time inside what looks like a cloakroom. Gun cabinet. Is that what's going to happen then? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it could be a gun cabinet. Maybe you have to stash your guns whilst you use the showers or something. <laughs> but I would have thought the steam would not be a good idea to have it in the it's same room. Like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like the cage as well, it sort of gives it away. Yeah. 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 That's quite cool. Gun cabinet. Woo! But in, inside this area where the toilets are and the showers are. You're really it's a picture of that, shouldn't you? So, <laughs> but you know, were they showering in here, I wonder? Because you wouldn't want, um, maybe this wasn't a shower area where you got steam, maybe it was just an area where you cleaned up after being outside and you had lots of... Uh, sure, because the wall would be sinks. Yeah, it's sinks, yeah, so sinks and toilets. But you had to stash your guns whilst you were in here, whilst you were 
a little bit sort of vulnerable. So this is not uh, the Olympus world? But by the look of it, they're clear that the doors, they've obviously been in here to have all the copper. Mm. Uh, there you go. Put it down and then the copper out of it. Mm. Make some money out of it. So is it, uh, this is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for fighting, this is for fun. <laughs> what have we got here? A fucking comedian. Hmm. You going to get one of the coat racks? Yeah, I'll try. Do you want to take this off and get my camera? Just one second. That's right. Coat racks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, there. Your electric fire alarm system supply do not disconnect. And they had um, timer timer systems there, probably for outside lights. Two timers. Yeah. Oh no, that's um, that's an electricity meter. Um, well, they've they've got a they've got clock things on them. Where you can yeah. pull you can pull the things in and out. Look, oh, okay. I think those are timers. Probably just for the lights. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it is for lights. Has got timer timer things in there. Hmm. Yeah, the outside lights on the timer for the start. Yep. Oh look, it says here stretcher on the thing. So this is a muster point for safety, fire stuff, injuries. Oh wow. And it looks like it was set up for two stretchers to be there. So basically if bombs went off here or something happened that was untowards, it's a muster point. Fire alarm. Button Sorry, on this side of the building. No, you're all right. What's in here then? It's got. Um, it's like segregated into two parts. What that would have been then? So a water pipe. I think it could have been some sort of, uh, you know, fire room with water pipes coming down. Right. There could have been some sort of uh, water containers perhaps there, you know, and maybe a pump or something to pump it out. Maybe the fire room. Yeah. They've been digging everything out here just to find out what's going on. Taking out the uh, the water stopcocks to see whether there's any supply still here. Those roofs are just asbestos, the same as in walls on there. Yeah. I think your neighbours might complain, to be honest. Yeah, it's a bit bigger than all I've got now. Yeah. Asbestos, you reckon? Definitely. That is, yeah. mm. Good for the lunch, folks. <laughs> yeah. So these were the drive-in bays. And back up there were the uh, yeah. the train bays. But it all decanted onto smaller rail stuff that went up further. And they've actually got other rail houses further up, so I think that um, that big shed might have been for a big gauge railway. And then further up they've got rail sheds for narrow gauge railway, you right. know, for working on the smaller stuff. So Ian's going in this uh, security building because I've uh, mentioned that there was a nice little fuse box set up at the end. And hopefully the uh, scrum rats haven't done too much to that, but there's a lot of bad graffiti in this building. Here we go. 
Yeah, this looks like I remember it. Not much has changed there, apart from maybe the ceiling's collapsing a bit more, peeling off. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You come in. Thank you. Here are the guys in the fuse box room. That's a nice old fuse box, isn't it? That's nice. It's got switches in there. Yeah, I think if you push, push and twist, push or twist or something, and then you turn them and then they open. There's some sort of magic way of doing it. This day completely just seized, I think. Seized. Seized, oh dear. This is what we need to see, this thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that works. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The pliers on that and a bit of uh, rust releaser. The original blinds still up here. But it said, um... Uh, Door with a cage on it. Slow running switch, starting, slow running. Right. Routing signal, fire alarm control, fire alarm, floodlights, S, S, Sidimo, Sidimo. I don't know. But this is like, you know, I think this would probably be a generator, a backup generator, an alarm system, and floodlights for outside. Wow. Hmm. It's sad the building's in such a bad state. It's like why people think it's fun to smash up and spray paint. Yeah. We've all done stupid things when we were little, wasn't it? But, you know, it's just yeah. crazy. It's like telephone wires coming in. Oh, Chris, you missed something. Has he gone? You missed it? Yeah. Uh, the plaque on the side of it. Yeah. On what? No. Oh, yeah. William Geek. Geedpill Limited, Engineers London. London. Engineers London. It's got a serial number on it as well. From the days when fuses were allowed to be open for your fingers to climb in and touch the metal bits. Yeah, <laughs> Do you get a picture of the phone or not? Oh, I didn't know. I did just say get a picture of that. Well, there's actually push buttons there and they've got things written on them street lighting. Street lighting, feed, fire pushes, number. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, that's the oh, yeah. thing. Oh, it's yeah. still push. That's nice, isn't it? That'll be gone soon in the bin. I think these are relays, aren't they? Because they're designed to go like that and trip. Like, yeah. But it's like when they're turned on, they'll go click and they turn in, and you can probably start and stop. When you flick these, these go ching, 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 and they, they feed a lot. See, these are relays. Look, they've got solenoids on them. This is a relay board. This is for switching in, you, you know, for small signals to switch in large amounts of power. 1940. Yep. 1940, oh my god. Right there, look. Oh, yeah. The British Electronic Electric Transformer Limited, Hayes Middlesex. A Ministry Contract B15352, Year of Supply 1940. Yep. That's good, isn't it? A Ministry Contract, yeah. Uh, but these are all solenoids, that's the magnet there for the solenoid to pull the switches. So, you know, when the power's needed, dung. Yeah. They'll auto switch. They're auto switching fuses, basically. It's not a normal fuse board. It's a clever fuse board. Somebody can push a button somewhere else and it'll just ding, switch on all the lights around the base. Ding, turn them off. Do the cables coming in? Yeah, thick stuff. Three phase, I think. Yeah, it looks 
You know, they were able to turn on the street lighting for the local area. <laughs> Which, you know, I suppose if you're going to get bombed and you want to turn off That's essential good. lights, it makes sense. Pixel Hello. Markings. Red phase, yellow phase, blue phase. You just keep finding loads of stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Like, before this place was trash, there's probably loads of stuff here. Yeah. 29 is long push, 39 is fire pushers, north south ramp feed, and 41 is lodge. Lodge Veranda Push Feed. Hmm. So, interesting. What's on the other door? Oh, oh yeah, there is that. Gypsy Lane. Black to Gypsy Lane. Red cables to Tefont. Substation 1. So these are... They've got different feeds, so if one substation went down, like Tefont, they've probably got another one coming in from a different area. It's yeah. like multiple supplies. First aid hut. First aid hut. Yeah, we were just in that probably, wasn't it? That was the first aid hut. Right, oh yeah. That was where we were, I reckon. Yeah. No, it's really irritating that, isn't it? It is. You get in there, look. <laughs> oh yeah, see if you could work out what's behind there. Oh, they, they got a good click behind them. Big old transformers. Big old transformers, yeah. We've been standing here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> the most exciting bit about the building so far is the underground. Yeah. <laughs> we will come back for you. <laughs> but the best thing is the 1940s plaque. Yeah, that's a golden gem. Right the back Relay switch to be able to turn on the lighting for the street lights outside and things as well, you know, turn it on and off. So little bulbs, those are little like handles on and Yep, those are blades. So these these will come out here. And, they, and if you if you lift them in, they'll go into these and lock in. See, lock them in. But there's electric ones here. See these here? They've got magnets behind them, so they're like relays. relays yeah. So they just go ting, turn them, yeah. turn themselves on. And the solenoids, relays, manuals, fuses. This may well be linked to what's up the top here. You flip the switch up the top here, and it pulls the relays in. Yeah, well I don't. Yes, I think you keep this bottom bottom bo box closed because you don't want to see that and what you want to do you flick the switches up here and it sets the relays below yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. for safety so this is where you operate things yeah so you're not directly touching the high voltage yeah because this is quite you know dangerous this compartment <laughs> yeah you don't want to really <laughs> have people playing around with this yeah and I know what they're doing Oh, very interesting. And this, these transformers up here were probably the low voltage side for the high voltage switching. Mm. So this is probably a step down from 240 to something you know a little bit more sensible for these little uh, solenoids. It's like just hanging there by one. Oh yeah, it folds forward because it's on a bit at the bottom. So it folds forward to work on the back of it. We should have a look. Oh no, it's all connected there, aren't it? Oh, it should be able to do it. Look, yeah, look at that. Old, old school. Old school, look at that. Wow. That's some serious wiring. Ooh. I don't think it's going to go all the way, though. That is some wiring, isn't it? But you'd never have that on a modern system. It would have to be kind of like isolated and turned off. This is all kind of working with the stuff live. Yeah. Because the fuses at the bottom would be live. So you don't isolate anything. I mean, look at the mess of wires well, I mean, as well. This, this has all got the original wiring, and then probably later on, when they've done other extra wiring, they've just reused this. Yep. Cool. Look at that, the ability to actually just lift it down. And work. So you drop your screwdriver and it's... Boom. <laughs> yeah. You just shut half the place down. <coughs> Oh, 
I mean, you know, the person who got employed to, to wire that up yeah. probably would be employed for life because who the hell else is going to know how that thing is connected? Yeah. That's flipping heavy. Telephone wires coming in the right hand side. I can smell your light burning. Mm, it does, it gets pretty hot. Oh, look at the wheels on that. <laughs> oh wow, look, this still moves. This is, the, this is the building of a thousand penises, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, uh, I think they did some sort of like ceremonies in here because there were pentagrams on the floor. It was, this was the demonic room. It's got 666 written everywhere and die now, die now. Yeah. Yeah, more penises. Nazi, there's lots of swastikas. Yeah. That's important if you're a devil worshipper, I'm sure. Lots of stormtroopers are Yeah. Oh yeah, stormtroopers. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think this building's got very long I left. Any of this has, do you? No. They're starting to sort of demolish the train end bits, so yeah, it could all be flattened yeah, soon. Yeah, it's jumping that bit wood because there's any screws in it. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. Right, you go, mate. Can I give, uh, give this to you? <sighs> Cheers, Matt. Thank you very much. No glass on my fingers. Oh, hey. What's the There's no buggering oh, about there. Well, if you've got safety boots on, it's not so bad, is it? Because you've got the metals underneath. But here he goes, Spider Man. <laughs> I shut the window, folks. Don't want the draft getting in. Yeah. <laughs> They don't want to get damp in there. Yeah. Right, you take it a bit. Right, cheers. Yeah. Well, I've got another battery's gone down now. I'm not getting a lot of my batteries today. Soaking up? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the piece down the old train line, and then that's that going up to the dip of the railway line. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying. Yeah. <laughs> so the railway line goes round the nuclear bunker. Alright. Oh, A7S with, uh, with not the best of lenses on it, but there's. Can uh, you see down there? It's doing a job, isn't it? Yeah. That's good. This is, you know, it's almost too dark to see. It's very dark twilight. Yeah. Get out quicker that way. You might want to sit next to each other. No, get a bit cosy, folks. <laughs> Oof. 
it's a... That one you've got there. Yeah, it's not too bad can, and it, you know, there's so many, what you've got is 100% better, but I'm not a louder camera, am I, Chris? No, I mean the torch, the big torch. Oh, sorry, the torch. The big bastard, what's it called? Uh, Olight. Yeah, the X7R, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's mm. like that one, doesn't it? Yeah, £250, I pay. No way! Uh, the torch. And as soon as I buy it, they, the price goes down. Yeah. The funny one is the next one he's got down. Some of us have just given it to test by. Really? It looks like a